Hey guys, uh, here to show you the framing work. This is gorgeous, gorgeous framing work. Angie, come on, check out this. Check look. So here we have all these, uh, I think it's 25 gauge metal or 20 gauge metal. Don't worry about it. Beautiful here. We have this outline here for the washer and dryer. The bathroom's there to our left. That's a wall that partitions one side from the other. I must say that's a really good job. These guys did really bolted it down. In fact, you can see to the roof how they can actually bolt it to the uh, concrete slabs up there. Mm -hmm. What and do you think? They did a really great job. They were here all day, you know, yesterday and the day before working on it. And they're very detailed, um, which I love. But now that I'm actually looking at the space, yeah, um, it seems a little... But here, our little kitchen goes here, compact, right? Not kitchen, right. a little bar goes here or something, right? Right, a mini bar. A mini bar. A mini bar. And it seems moment. a little bit more tight, and I think it's because last week I chose to eliminate a door that we had walking yeah. into this space uh -huh. um, to make the entry a little bit wider, more grand. So a lot wider uh, here. Therefore, I lost a couple of inches um, with the mini bar. So behind this framing will be an enclosed laundry area that's actually looking a little bit big to me um hmm. so i'm thinking stop don't don't <laughs> don't don't i know every time it says i'm thinking i'm thinking that uh, oh i my would like to eliminate this framing wall <laughs> to open up this space <laughs> um when you, you probably, a, when you trying to tell me this? You think that would be a lot of work? Uh, not on us, uh, but um, I want you to look up. Look at that detailed, beautiful craftsmanship. Mm -hmm. And look at these walls. And then that's that, you see that white thing? Right. Oh. So my idea was that I was gonna move <laughs> I'm the thinking. washer and dryer oh. to the garage and open up this space to have a larger entertaining space um, with more countertops and cabinetry and... I'm thinking. Well, so, so who's gonna make the phone call? I will make the phone call to Who the you? framing guy. Oh, so you call the framing guy. <laughs> and the plumber. Oh, you're gonna call both of them? And have them meet <laughs> us out here, probably today or tomorrow um, to have this conversation. Pick? So the thing that I'm learning is that when you are in the field, walking through a project, things might feel and look a little differently than they are on paper. Um, so changes happen all the time in the field that you probably don't get to see. Um, so we're showing you another one that we are considering after, you know, hopefully speaking with the uh, subs and yep. if they give us the thumbs up, um, yeah, this is begrudgingly sick. thumbs up that yeah. we can remove this piece so we can keep it all open. So you know, it we'll could be get done. back to you soon and let you know the outcome. I hope. Yeah. So hopefully, if we can remove these walls, the space. You know, she's always done a good job about designing, and uh, the space will open up tremendously. You lose this big wall here, mm -hmm. big more space. It's just easier to flow. And it's all about that word feng shui that you love to use. Right. Feng shui. I feel so fancy saying it. Right. But it, so it, we will let you know how it turns out. Yep. Yeah. So, all right.